This video serves as an overview and comparison of the two most common types of centrifugal pumps seen in the fire service. The single stage or one impeller pump and the two stage or two impeller pump. With a single stage pump, water enters the eye of the impeller, goes through the impeller and directly out the discharge side of the pump. This is the simplest, cheapest and most common design of modern pumping apparatus. The single stage pump works most efficiently pumping higher volumes of water at lower discharge pressures. A two-stage pump has two impellers on a common shaft. It's capable of two different modes of operation, pressure or series mode, and volume or parallel mode. Two-stage pumps were common on older fire apparatus powered by gasoline engines. These older apparatus did not have the horsepower to supply high pressures, especially as departments began to switch more towards smaller diameter hose lines with high pressure nozzles. The two-stage pumps became less popular when more powerful diesel engines became common on fire apparatus, but they are still seen quite often. When a two-stage pump is operated in pressure mode, water enters the first impeller, builds up pressure, and is then thrown into the eye of the second impeller. Water is then thrown into the discharge side of the pump. By using both impellers in series, water can be discharged at greater pressures but with less volume. This ultimately results in lower engine RPMs and less work on the apparatus drivetrain. This illustration shows the two-stage pump in pressure mode. As you can see here, with the transfer valve in the pressure mode, the check valves on either side of the suction are closed, forcing the water coming in to go through one impeller and then to the second impeller in a series. When a two-stage pump is in volume mode, Water enters the intake side of the pump and splits, entering the eyes of the both impellers at the same time. Half of the water goes to the left, the other half goes to the right. By using both impellers in parallel, water can be discharged at greater volumes, but less pressure. Operating in volume mode will result in comparatively higher engine RPMs. This illustration shows a two-stage pump in volume mode. As you can see here, with the transfer valve in volume mode, both check valves are open and water is entering both impellers at the same time. Transfer from pressure mode to volume mode should occur when the flow exceeds 50% of the pump's rate of capacity. It is important to note that this changeover must occur when the pump is at idle. If you are not sure whether you're going to exceed 50% of the pump's rate of capacity, it's better to start off in volume mode. This will not hurt the truck and having to idle down and change over with crews in the building is not good. As an example, if you are operating a pump rated at 1,250 gallons per minute, you will need to change over if your flow exceeds 625 gallons per minute. Changing over from pressure to volume mode is accomplished using a transfer valve located on the pump panel. In this case, turning the valve clockwise gives you pressure mode and turning counterclockwise gives you volume mode. The operational differences between a single stage and two stage pump is very clear when analyzing the pump test plates. The single stage pump has a very simple operational curve where greater pump discharge pressures will always require higher engine RPMs. As you can see here, the single stage pump achieves its highest engine RPMs at 250 pounds discharge pressure. Whereas the two stage pump actually achieves its lowest engine RPMs at 250 pounds discharge pressure. This is due to the additional efficiency of the two-stage pump when operating at high pressures. In review, the single-stage pump is the simplest and most common design used on modern pumping apparatus. The single-stage pump is the most efficient design for delivering large volumes of water at lower discharge pressures. The single-stage pump is better from a training perspective due to the fact that it does not require any additional inputs from the pump operator. The two-stage pump is more efficient than the single-stage pump when delivering higher discharge pressures at lower flows. The two-stage pump does require more training as the pump operator must know when he or she needs to switch between pressure and volume mode and where the transfer valve is located on his or her particular apparatus. Two-stage pumps are most commonly seen on older fire apparatus or on new apparatus that serve in areas where high discharge pressures are required on a regular basis. 
it is a good idea for pump operators to be proficient on both types of pumps.